Hey, it's Lloyd, and we're dressed up funny again, so that means it must be another uh, medieval history video. Uh, today we're in the woods, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of fire lighting. Uh, yesterday, I taught a class on fire lighting down south of Halifax, and uh, all the students were successful. One lady persevered for over an hour and a half. Uh, today, I decided uh, I'm going to test myself and see if I can persevere. I forgot to bring any tinder. And uh, so all I've got is what's around me, which is a bunch of dried up fern, which I've been having good luck with. It's covered in snow, so we'll shake that off and see what we can do. As always, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, share it with anybody that you think will like it. And if you don't like it, share it with your enemies. I will punish them for free. So as you saw, um, it was a little bit more difficult to get things going. Uh, the dampness of the fern uh, made it smoke more than anything, but once it was going, if you continue to uh, blow on it, it uh, puffed right up into a nice ball of flame, and that's what you want. Remember when you're making fire to remember your fire triangle, which is uh, heat, oxygen, and fuel. In this case, uh, just getting it going. Your tinder bunder is your your uh, fuel and uh, the spark that you uh, scrape onto your char cloth or your amadou uh, that will be your heat and you are responsible provi for uh, providing the oxygen by blowing on it so uh, fires like oxygen so don't be afraid to blow too hard to pretend that you're blowing out a birthday candle that's really stubborn and it should work for you uh, just about every time uh, my char cloth was a bit damp too because it was exposed to the elements for six or eight hours yesterday so uh, you know all in all it was uh, uh, the hardest part was actually scraping the spark um, the damp tinder didn't seem to affect it too much uh, so uh, we'll consider this a success have a good day